Second exercise we did was a, what we call a bandit loop unilateral squat thrust, where he's got one leg suspended. He lunges back, squat thrust down to the ground, jumps forward, jumps that unsuspended leg back under his chest and stands. Always ask the guys, how much time do we spend on one foot? And they're like, well, never, man. I said, no, 50% of the time. If you walk or run, you're on one foot 50% of your time. As an athlete, it's even more than that. So we train that way. And we give them that confidence in standing and moving and changing planes on one leg and safely. And again, another, another exercise that, that he excels at. And I, and I think that's important for him to be able to move in those planes and have strength throughout his entire body and, and not just the plane of throwing a ball. To have confidence on one leg, if he's throwing a pass and he's getting hit at the same time, and he can, he can snap that ball fast enough and get it out of his hands, it, it, it could be a game for him. Coaching point on that is getting that shin to be as vertical as possible when they lunge back and when they squat thrust back and come back into, that, into the lunge, you wanna make sure that that shin is as vertical as possible, no stress on the knee. We go 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and we repeat that four times.